Hey guys. Hi friends. How's it going? Happy Wednesday. If you've never tuned in before, you are catching us live <laughs> on a maker studio. And my name is Amy and, and I am Michelle. here with Michelle. <laughs> and we I'm a, are I'm just jumping in today. <laughs> we are um we we love Monday, Wednesday, and Friday we because do. these are days that we are able to introduce you to some new stencils. And stencils are the apex. Absolutely. Of a maker studio and Amy Howard at home for that matter. Kind of the Our sister base company. of all the creative fun yes. things. Yes, totally. Today we have a fabulous, fabulous new stencil that is a wood grain effect. You wouldn't think having a wood grain design would be this fabulous. But it really is. And you can use it as the background for a lot of our scripture sayings mm -hmm. of, of designs and things that you can put on top of it. But believe it or not, we went to Ikea. We so did. we're calling this an Ikea hack that you can use this wood grain on ceramic surfaces, office, everybody, a office lot of people stuff. have inner, do you still have an office at your home? Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> a crafting room slash office. Um, we have to have an office at our house. And yes. so there are so many fun projects. So, so this one is oversized. Projects. It's 12 by 18. Yep. So big it's big to allow you to be able to use it maybe on a piece of furniture. Yes. This would be Divine. fabulous on a piece of furniture. Absolutely. And remember with these mesh stencils, you can use stain. You can use size to do leaf. You can yes. do ceramic paint. We're going to be showing you how step. to do one step today. Mm -hmm. It's incredibly versatile. So let's show them a few of our projects. Okay. You want to? I do. All right. So look at this. Is this so the cutest? Great. So this has, do you want to show them Absolutely. just kind of what the, the before. before? Okay. So this is what you get when you purchase from Ikea. It's a cork board base in just a metal framed basket. And then you get your dividers that literally pop right in. Yes, it's so you can so take great. them out like yes. this and customize as far as where you want them to go. Uh -huh. But they click onto those. They click onto edges. the to the edge like into here. Got it. And then it'll click onto that other one too. It's kind of hard if you don't have to put the base on it. All right, so now I'm making we're getting a lesson in um, assembly of the IKEA, Ikea. piece. There we go. All right. So part of what we love, part of what we love about it is the fact that it's really allowing you to kind of upscale this. Absolutely. This faux wood grain to me is adorable. It is, and it, it gives so much depth and fun. It and does. It just, I mean, this is cute, but that's awesome. Yes, this is incredible. So Fabulous. we're going to show you how to be able to do this on cork. Mm -hmm. And look, this is just an IKEA platter that we did our ceramic. Do we have our ceramic paint just to kind of show folks? Yeah, it is. You're the water to my ocean. And then you want to show them the before. So just a regular Solid wine. dish. But you know, because of this, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know about you, and I'm, I'm anxious to hear what you have to say, but I would totally put paper clips in this. I could put mm -hmm. my mail in it, stamps. I mean, like mm -hmm. this is a dish, not necessarily that I would see for food. Eating. But to putting, put stuff. I don't know about you, you're not married yet, you will be very soon, but I like to have a place for Gene to put his money clip, mm -hmm. his change, his watch, his phone, and so for you to be able to have one of these dishes like this, what a great gift Absolutely. for a man. To just put his things in. And if you wanted to, you know, you could do a wash over this. You could do, there's a lot of other yes, things. You could absolutely. do this in black. I just think the blue. I think the blue is very pretty. It really is. So it could be great in a bathroom. Absolutely. If you wanted to be able to have this, you could make one for you, one for him, but to put his wallet, his keys, a whole nine yards on. Um, you can use our no-bake ceramic paint, which would be beautiful on that. Love this idea. Yes. You want to show them the other thing that we've got? Yes. Okay. These are also IKEA. This is your before. There's a cement pot, perfectly flat edges, which are awesome. Look at this. I'm sorry. How cute. Now with this, it's kind of a light blue. What blue, What did we use on this? Lake Como Nights. Lake Como Nights. 
Take me to Lake Como, please. And ah! Jean She's Howard. She's like, please take me to Lake Como. But with our succulents, because you can put succulents. If you're terrible at plants, succulents are the best. Please yes. don't get fake plants. They're get not real the, plants. They're not, not the easiest to kill. No. <laughs> And so put a cute little succulent in that on your desk. Yes. And, and then look at this. Succulents make me happy. They're the cutest little plants. And yes. they're so fat and plump. I'm yes. like, they just look like little people. Yes, they're they're so cute. But you could make a matching set. Absolutely. Type thing to be able to go on your desk. Absolutely. I love that idea. Because and these, do these are simple. These are, I mean, you've got to have a place to be able to put some papers. Especially Absolutely. a lot of people are homeschooling. Um, you've got to be able to have an own, a home office. Mm -hmm. And the, the, we have so many gals that love making things and reselling. Don't forget the fact that people have a home office. Guys Absolutely. need gifts too. So I love this. So, so many cute these things to great. do with this new faux wood grain stencil. Yes. All right. So as you pop on here, please be sure and tell us where you're tuning in from and um, send us some love. And we love... Um, we love knowing about your projects. Mm -hmm. If you're not part of our Facebook group, we have a Facebook group called Crafting a Beautiful Life. You can just go in and type that in and join because we want you to share your projects. Absolutely. Um, as we well. Want to see what you're doing. Absolutely. It encourages us. And we, we're like, oh my gosh, the creativity is crazy. It is. It's awesome. So as you pop on here, please say hey. But here's the deal. This is what's exciting. As you're catching us live, if you share this video and tag three friends... Your name goes in for drawing. Ah, and we're going to be get free stuff. We're going to be giving this away. <laughs> what else should we give away? I don't know. I think maybe they need a one step paint. I think they need this. Do you think they Don't y'all think that? you need this? Oh my gosh. We can so, put that in a box. <laughs> this is brand new. I mean, this we just propped it out, so we're not giving you something used. We just did this. They're so we are, we just like to give away stuff and make we it a do. lot more fun. We do. So we're going to give away this beautifully enormous 12 by 18 wood grain stencil. And this awesome And this divider. awesome divider for your office, your home it. office. So you could even put it in your drawer if you wanted to. See, that's what I was thinking. Your but junk then I'm like, drawer, it's kind do you of have a junk cute. drawer? <laughs> like three of them. So great cute thing for your junk drawer <laughs> clean it out a lot of them <laughs> and that way you can put that in there be great for your kitchen or your home office love that all right so let's show these. everybody um <laughs> i need those you I need that to be able to do the project so let's show everybody how to use this fabulous new wood grain stencil absolutely i and i am a cork freak you do love cork. I love cork. It's the texture of it. You I love, love texture. the texture. And I've told y'all, I mean, I'll, I'll just say it again. And this is another great one that you could do it on. But you can get cork squares. Do they sell those at Ikea? I think they do. I haven't looked. I, just it's been a few weeks since I a, looked. I'm not a cork girl, but they might. So you can do this wood grain. You see how fabulous it is on a cork square and do a lot of them and then glue the corks up on the wall in an office or a study and, and they look divine. Wall. They're divine, really and truly. And it, they're so easy to do. We are going to be doing this with the one step today. Am I right? Yes. The sticker's being a little testy. Okay. Is there a trick to stickers with from Ikea? You know, some are awesome and some hardly stick. So this one's awesome. Sticking really well. So we are gonna. Um, I'm just gonna baby this real quickly with my finger. But I, oh my gosh, I love I love cork trivets. Mm -hmm. You can do these patterns. You know, we did those adorable paisley cork trivets. Oh my gosh, they turned out so cute. So Red, cute. white, and blue. You have to go back and watch that on another video mm -hmm. um, if you haven't seen that. But it's so easy to use the one step paint on cork. It's permanent. You don't have to do any special treatment to it. You don't have to seal it. Nothing. It's, it's just perfect. Stay put. All right, so we're going to continue to try to get this sticker off of our IKEA. Babying um, the cork. There we go. All right, there we go. Good job. <laughs> All right. So, sometimes you got to be real careful. Do we want to cut this down or just work with the size? No, let's see how it lays down. Okay, let's try it. So if, you, if you've if you never worked with our stencils before, there you have options. 
And so <laughs> it's adhesive and you want to keep this back because you want to be able to put it back on uh, the backing. But now it's great because with our overhead, you can see, you can see through the stencil to be able to see the placement mm -hmm. on your, where your cork is. It just makes it so much easier to work with. Now, the other thing is you're going to notice on working with different surfaces, it won't adhere as well. Exactly. Um, because a lot of times, like people have asked me, Amy, what about when I'm working on canvas? Canvas has right. size on it. Mm -hmm. And so it doesn't always And it won't stick. always stick as well. So you'll just have to kind of hold on to it. Cork is the same way because of the adhesive. If we were working on ceramic or plastic or glass or anything, it just grips. Yep. But this, you're gonna have to hold with your left hand and to be and able work. to apply it, mm -hmm. right, and work with it. What do you need? A powder. A little foam dome. I think I have some behind us. Um, okay, let me see. There should be some in that bucket at the bottom of it, if there are any more right here. I'll tell you what, I know where some are, so I'll be right back, so that way you can, um, you can show them. The stencil. Yes. I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's go on and do our platter, Absolutely. and then um, I'll go get us a foam down. All right. We'll just take this stencil off. You guys will see how it sticks to this stuff. Totally different. You are going to have to work with the fact that um, it's curved. It's curved. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit more. Let me go get a foam. It's gonna take quick. a little bit of loving to get it to really hold on nicely to those um, edges of the plate. All right, friends, working on that placement. I've got a little bit of puckering, but I am also working with a wood grain, so I'm not super worried about that. Um, the wood grain look. All right. We can just edit that out with me getting up and. Beautiful, beautiful. beautiful. All right, friends. We are using our gel art ink, and this is a permanent medium. So it um, is, these are a no-bake formula, so they will cure without being baked. But we say, go ahead and bake them. Speed up that curing process. You don't have to if you, you don't, don't want have to. to. But you, if you... Let's say after you've done your project, if you let it sit for several days, of course it will cure, but a lot of people, they like to be able to work with it instantly. Mm -hmm. So we just say, pop it in the oven, put it on a cookie sheet, um, set the oven at 350 degrees, bake it for about 25 to 30 minutes, and let it cool down in the oven, yeah. and then that way it's gonna be cured. Cool down in the oven, and that way, that way you can take your cookie sheet out and it's cool, but please wash this by hand. Don't put it in the yeah, dishwasher. That's There's right. Really hot temperatures. Now, I want, I, I don't want to talk. I want you to be able to tell them what it is that you're doing. You're I'm using, using a squeegee. Our flat squeegee, yeah. Normally, when I'm working with ceramic paints, I like to use a brush, um, especially on a rounded surface. But this surface is really um, forgiving. And so I feel like it's okay to use the squeegee, and I've got really good control, and I'm only doing one color. So I don't it's have like, any problem. And it allows like me to split. work. It, and it like, allows you to work quicker, which Ceramic paint is a permanent to. medium, so yes. you want to work quickly. It's not one that you want to leave in your stencil for a long time. And notice, guys, how we turned it a different angle, so that way you can get to it. You can I really get my hands in you there. Can go the opposite direction. That is Absolutely. quite all right. I turn my pieces regularly so that I can really get in there and do what I need to do. Um, it just gives me better leverage. I okay, drug the stencil through my paint. So the other thing is too, as we're as we're talking about this, look at this. This is our brand new uh, wood grain stencil, which I love our I think patterns. It's so amazing. And I think it's a great thing for a guy, but I love wood grain too. Yes. And in my house, I think the faux more it's kind of what's called a faux bow, B O I S, um, or faux bois. Faux bois. Not yeah, not fabois. Faux bois. Faux. Yeah, it's a football. So um, it's Ready, really Freddy? great looking. Will you yes. hold it? 
Hold this. Yes. Yes. So I can peel. Yes. Look at that. So fun. So fun. Now, yes. if there's a little areas that you mixed messed up in, what I would do before it has a chance to kind of set up is to wet take a wet Q-tip and just go in and pull that out, and it's absolutely fabulous. You know what? This would actually make some cute. I know we're talking about giving this to our husbands for to put his wallet, his money clip, his phone, all that kind of stuff. But these could make some really cute dishes, too. They really They're could. very in. It, it's it is. Wood grain is in. Yes, totally. On all of the surfaces. Totally. It really, really is. All right, so now we've shown you how to create a great dish to be able to put um, wallet, jewelry, keys, the whole nine yards in. I would bake it. That way it'll, um, it'll be much more hearty. And it's beautiful because it's raised. And I'm going to tell you, part of what we love here at a maker studio is the fact that we love doing Ikea hacks. We love yes, going to Walmart and do. Target, all these places, and getting things that are really inexpensive and even making Dollar Tree, and making them look like they came out of a really high-end shop in New York. Mm -hmm. Like, I could totally <laughs> see this in a Kate Spade. Oh, yes. Or um, her husband, um, gosh, guys, help me. Tell me what her husband's name, David Spade. Okay. Um, he has a men's line that he does. This is so Kate Spade, nice. David Spade. Okay. No, I'm thinking his brother, Jack. It's Jack. Okay. Jack Spade. That Jack was her Spade. that was her um, husband's name. Anyway, this would be something Jack Spade would totally do. It's really cute. So so chic. Or John Darian. Any of those people that I adore. Their yes. shops in New York. Yes. Totally would be adorable. So now look at this. We're just gonna show you this. This was another idea on can we show them the yeah, before this is your before so this is just an um just inexpensive plain. resin kind of plastic material yeah. that they have at ikea for home office but do you love it love it's love really love cute. it's actually paper this, this is, is paper, paper? uh-huh oh my gosh it's fab it is amazing do these stack they do oh. they come in a two-pack do you love this? <laughs> they come in a two-pack. They're really cool. I love it. I, th I think it's so chic. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so as you pop on here, please say hello. Tell us where you're tuning in from. And you want to be sure and share this video and tag three friends because your name will go in for a drawing. That we're going to be giving away this. this. Where you're going to be. That's all you have to do is share the video and tag three friends. We're going to give away the wood graining stencil that we have that mm -hmm. we're introducing today, which is Wednesday. And we're going to be giving this to the lucky winner. Absolutely. We're jazzed. All right, so let's show them how to work on the cork. Let's get that other stencil. All right. Um, you guys noticed I went ahead and washed the stencil while Amy and I were talking because... For time ceramic issues. paint is one of those permanent paints. We do not want it to dry in our stencil. Like, I'm just going to show you all this again. Like, is this I cutest? I love it. This is a little concrete. I keep holding it because I think it's so cute. Oh my goodness. This is a concrete um, pot that you can get at Ikea mm -hmm. as well that we used our one step on. I don't know how I've missed those. Oh my gosh. I've been there a lot lately. So, um, well, this may be more new for the spring. I've been there like three times in the last week. Oh, and you haven't seen them? <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> That's why I'm saying, I don't know, I missed him because I live there. Gene Howard, I, I only get maybe I know it's not twice a month. When I tell him, I, then it's like, what favors am I going to give? I, I like. You're like, where will I um, go with him? I have to go to, Co when I go to Costco and Ikea together at the same time. <laughs> and then when I tell him, I, he's like, okay, so what are we doing today? I'm like. Hmm. Costco and Ikea? How I have to much go to Costco. <laughs> and then he'll, he's like, do we have to go to Ikea too? And I'm like. Okay, he's like, you owe me. And I go, I know I do. What? I know. So She's like, I know, honey. I know. But then I have a good time when I go in there. All right, so here's your, here's your foam Thank dome. Thank you, ma'am. My foam dome. So remember when you're working on cork, it's going to be a little bit different. It's not going to stick as much, so you're going to have to work with both hands. And um, we're going to be working with the one-step paint because... It's permanent. Yep. Now you could do this with ink if you wanted you to. You absolutely could. The gel ink would work. Absolutely. But we're using permanent. And you can go to a makerstudio.com and you can see the one step paint on there. So it's great. You don't have to sand it, strip it, or prime it. And mm -mm. it's it's one of the permanent. most wonderful crafting paints. It's not acrylic paint. It's a chalk base paint. So you get a beautiful matte surface. 
um, on it. It smells <laughs> like a million bucks and it has no VOCs. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to press that down again and then work from this corner down. So it's a pouncing motion. It is not, um, it's not a brushing at all. So I want to be sure. Y'all pop on here and just say, hey, tell us where you're tuning in from. Yes, and we want to know. We want to know. So it's Happy Wednesday. We are loving our brand new stencil, our faux, F-A-U-X. Um, <laughs> faux. I couldn't spell that for the longest time in my life. Faux. It's a French word. Means... I do not know French. Michelle and I joke about this all the time. The only words I know <laughs> are fait la main bouche. And um, I was going to say muchos gracias, but that's, that's Spanish. <laughs> and we, oui, monsieur, and we, oui. what else well, do we what's know? What's the other one that you say to me? You always say, merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. And then do I you go, speak French? I go, and, and then what am I supposed to say? Absolutely. So, Absolutement. merci beaucoup. <laughs> but, um... But my sister always said fill my bouche when I was growing up, and it means to shut your mouth up. So that's about <laughs> all I know in French. Does. I can fake it till I make it when when in France. I work I work before When then. in Rome. That's right, when in Rome. So Michelle has got her black one-step paint that she is pouncing. I am. And, up and down, loading up and, down, and pouncing, up and down. she needs three hands. Um but God only gave me two, so that's I'm going right. to make it work. So, that's right. If I can do it, you can do it too. <laughs> but it really is great because the one-step allow, you can use this on ceramic, on cork, cork, glass, um, your kitchen cabinets, your bathroom vanities. I fell in love with one-step before I knew about a maker studio. And I painted all the things with one-step. And then, you know, I got to know all of the other products. It's like a child. But I do love one-step. It's like a child. When we had filed for our patent on this pa paint with Amy Howard at home, we found out that so many of the other paint companies that had chalk-based paints had methanol in it, mm -hmm. and methanol is in gasoline, and so we have no we have no VOCs mm -hmm. in this paint. So Look fun! Look at that! So fun! Oh so my fun. word! I love it. And, and I. How Simple. Yes, it's so simple. simple. And I love how it will dry down to this gorgeous matte finish. Matte. And look at that. So now we can put that in our, our Ikea set. I and I think it's absolutely adorable. Make your own little Ikea office. Oh, my gosh. And, guys, if you have a piece of furniture that you want to be able to rescue and restore, yes. you could paint it. Absolutely. And then do this pattern on it and put some really... I don't know, some great looking brass hardware on this. It's just so deco -y looking. Even a mid century mm -hmm. modern piece with really simple oh, lines. That would be beautiful. With this on it would be so cute. And play with color. Do it in navy. Do green. Um, do a Kelly green wood Kelly gray green is on my navy. Favorite. Would be so cute. Or my white favorite. or light mm -hmm. gray. Have fun with it because it's just a great overall pattern that can look great on so many things. Absolutely. So. Be sure, share this video, tag three friends. We want your name to go in for a drawing because we're going to be giving this baby away. You do not want to miss out. Along with this wood grain stencil. So thanks so much for watching. And we hope you love the stencil as much as we do for this happy Wednesday. And be sure and tune in so when we come back on Friday, we'll have another stencil. We have another one. It's going to be great. You guys get the best this week. You do. This, new, this new, is new, a new. great, great week. <laughs> Have a great Wednesday, everybody. We love you guys. Bye. Okay.